Welcome everybody to Have you King's Quest played V. Played King's Quest V. Uh, today we're going to be doing King's Quest V. Uh, don't forget to hit that like uh, and subscribe button. That would be great. I know a lot of people are watching. A lot of people are not doing that. Please, admit, every little bit helps, guys. Every Warning. little bit helps, guys. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch it. Hopefully everyone's having a great day, guys. Here we go. Let's delve into King's Quest V. Well, so much for the castle. King Quest Fives, follow the adventures of King Graham as he returns to the castle of Daventry, only to find a wizard enchanting it and lifting it away in a whirlwind. Hopefully everyone enjoys this blast of the past here as we go and try to get our castle back, you know? Try to get everything back. That would be kind of weird, though, going out for a walk. You know, you see us in the woods, and we're trying to head back home, and, well, home is gone? My castle? What has happened? Tell you what happened? What? Ooh, I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. You did? Well then, what happened? Ooh, it was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Ooh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Well, don't stop now. Go on. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Ooh, it was something to see, all right. Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? That I don't know. Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. Well, perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak, though, my employer is a very good wizard. His name is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. The only problem is, you see... <laughs> Not a very good owl. <clears throat> anyway, oh, where was I? <laughs> oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Crispin is a very qualified wizard, one of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again, that's all. Now where is it? Ooh, I know I brought it with me. Aha! Here it is. What is that? Well, it is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordak. Ooh, excuse me for saying, your majesty, but you don't have a choice. You must 
must come with me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. What is that stuff? Ooh, just some old leftover fairy dust I've been carrying around. Ooh, Ooh, nothing wrong with fairy dust. Fly. You can follow me to the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. Ooh, I think the fairy dust is still good. Okay. Come on! Up here! We can fly. <sighs> Follow me! I love these old intros of the games, you know? This is my first day flying. <laughs> Ooh, looks like the fairy dust just wore off. Cedric, where have you been? I've been calling for you. Well, well, what have we here? A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Ooh, aye, aye, Crispin. <laughs> I like tea. The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good though. Crispin, why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. Ooh, I thought perhaps you could help his majesty, Crispin. That's why I brought him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. But I've gotten a little rusty lately. <laughs> a little rusty? That's quite enough from you, Cedric. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, Crispin, sir. I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see what I can find. I love the music for this too. Really good. This is just the intro. I haven't done anything yet. No, that won't do. That's all used up. Hmm. 
It might work. Here, eat this. What is that? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You should find that quite helpful. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. No, nope, we're gonna you find out. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Morlack could be up to. You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Oh, me? Yes, you. Don't be such a coward. Now go on. You'd better get started. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. All right, looks like we're about to begin here. Okay. Ooh, I suggest we visit the town first. How about it, Your Majesty? Sounds good to Please me. Please don't call me Your Majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well, then, let's be on our way, Cedric. Okay. On our way. Uh, there we go. Well, we probably should save, though, right? Might be a good idea to do. Graham, watch out! A poison a snake! Oh, I see it over there. Okay. Um, let's go into the town here, all right? Let's see what we can find in the town. All right. This game back in the day won so many awards too. This was one of the uh, one of one of the many greats that Sierra put out. Hopefully, you all enjoy it the same as I do. If you're going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. All right. Nice little town, though. Talking to yourself again, Graham? Yep. How goes it with you, good fellow? Not well, I'm afraid. This old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. All right then, good luck. Thanks. With this wagon, I'm gonna need it. Okay. Taylor, huh? May I help you, sir? Uh, maybe. The young man is too busy with another customer. I'm interested in buying something here. Ah, let me show you some things. A fine piece of cloth. With this material, I could make you beautiful shirts. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever had. Well, what do you think? 
Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. Okay. Well, uh... I don't think we have any money, though, so... I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, there's something shiny over here. What do we got? Bending down, Graham quickly retrieves the silver coin from the street. Graham notices an old wooden barrel on the street corner. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Okay, well, we'll, we'll pick up the fish. Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes, phew, the smelly old fish. Of the town. I think I meant to go the other way. Let's check out the other stores here that we can. in anything. The shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? Grandpapa? Yeah, my crapper. darling. Can I keep this doll? I really like her. Now, Katrina, you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, you've got plenty of dolls. You can play mid her, but just be careful. All right, Grandpapa. I'll take care of her. I love the voice this acting. This is a fine little toy shop you have here. You must be very proud. Danke, son. I've worked very hard at it over the yards. But you know, you need to really love it. And I do. Are most of these toys your creations? Yeah, most of them. But not all. Some my son made. Some I bought. Some I traded for. You're very talented. Danke, danke. Well, let me know if I can help you. Okay, well, we're going to exit out of here. We don't need to... I don't think we need any toys right now. Maybe later, though. All right, and that is all the town. So now we're going to exit out. Let's go this way here. Really love the look of this town. This town is really nice. store this is. Um, Baker Bros. The Bakehouse. Alright, well, let's take a look at the Bakehouse then. Ooh, I'll wait for you here, Graham. Alright. How is your poor dear mother doing, William? Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. Thanks for asking, Amanda. Austin, keep your fingers out of that pie. <laughs> the pies look lovely. 
I think I'll take one. Yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. Yes, this will be a fine dessert for our dinner tonight. Let's go home, Austin. Here's the last of the pies. Well, welcome to our bakehouse, Traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but today we've got a special uncustard pie. Just one silver coin each, but oh. take your time. Let me know when you're ready. I think we're going to get ourselves a custard pie. Everything looks so delicious, it's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Everybody has that problem, but what a problem to have. Those custard pies look most delicious. Yes, they're made from a recipe handed down from our dear mama and her mama before her. Hmm, it's still hard to decide, though. Well, take your time. There's no hurry. All right, we need to buy a custard pie here. Would you like a pie, sir? Yes, I would. Well, yes, actually, I would. That'll be one silver coin, then. Let me see if I have one. Well, let me know if you do. Okay, we do have a coin, but how do I access my inventory here? Oh, we have a coin. Sir, I would like to purchase one of your custard pies. These pies cost one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. So do I. Oh, I'm sure I will. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We got our pie. All right, let's keep on going here. Uh, probably another good time to save here. All right, come on, Cedric. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, the inn. We don't think we need anything from the inn right now. We're walking. Yes, indeed. About as slow as can be. We're walking. Oh, a bear. We got a fish. We can let's throw the fish at the bear. Hmm. Hello, bear. All right. I'm Queen Beatrice, kind sir. I wish to thank you ever so much for saving our hive from the claws of that horrible bear. In return, <laughs> I offer you a luscious honeycomb from our hive. Well, thank you. Please feel free to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't harm you. It may come in handy on your travel. Alright. Uh, I think we're going to pick up this stick here, too. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. Gotta love the narration here. Alright, and then we grab the honeycomb. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. All right, let's go. Come on, Cedric. Oh no, a dog. A bully of a dog terrorizes the poor ants as he playfully digs at their large anthill. That's a really big anthill, holy cow. <laughs> Uh, what do we got? We got a stick here that we could throw. Here, boy! <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm King Anthony the Great. May I ask who you are? Why, certainly. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend, Cedric. 
We're seeking a way to cross the Great Mountains to the ocean on the other side. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider. But if you shall not, in return for rescuing our home from that flea bitten cur, I wish to offer you our help, if perchance you may ever need it. Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate King your Anthony. kind offer. <laughs> we look forward to meeting you again. Okay, uh, we're moving right along here. Let's uh, save it again here, and let's go uh, this way. Oh, there's nothing but a hot, dry desert for the West. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Oh, if you insist on going, I'll wait for you here. Okay, well, we're going to go in the desert here. Don't know what the desert is going to bring us. It could bring us death. It could bring us fortune. Who knows? I mean, I'm assuming that we're going to need water out here because it's probably kind of hot or whatever, but we don't know. The desert is a very tricky spot here. Not much scenery changes either. Easily to get lost. Aha, look at that. Oh, hey, having an oasis here. Life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. All right, let's keep on going. What would you do if you got lost in the desert? Would you be able to survive? Would you freak out and just, you know, almost die instantly or what? I mean, what, 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 what would happen here if you were stuck in the desert? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What would you do if you got stuck in the desert? Would you know how to survive? I don't know what I would do, to be perfectly honest. I have no idea what I would do. I mean, obviously, you'd look for some place to find shade, shelter type of thing. Uh, definitely find water. I mean, the desert can be very unforgiving. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink, and soon. We're hoping, we're hoping. Uh, where are we going? I want to go this way. No. Oh, a temple. What do we find here? Uh, let's get some water here. Ah, 
light from a Hurry up, hurry up, Graham. Ooh. Okay, we hid. They didn't see us. Open sesame. Open sesame, really? That's easy, huh? Okay. Very interesting there. Okay. Well, let's get some water here. So now we know how to open the, um, the doors. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Okay, so now we have to get out of here. Um, let's see if we can find out where those bandits went. Without dying in the desert, of course. I mean, yeah. Today's not a good day to die, you know? It's just, it's, it's not. It's just, it's not a good day to die. So, we just don't want to do it. Okay, there should be the Oasis two screens this way. I'm going off of memory here. <laughs> My memory has failed me a bunch of times. I have died out here in the desert plenty of times. I uh, just don't feel like dying anymore today. The hot sun and Woo. We got it. All right, so we're not going to die right now anyways. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham. All right. Uh, let's go down here. And uh, keep on looking for those uh, bandits here. Maybe we'll run into him. I don't know. Or maybe we'll die. I, I have no idea. Not knowing how big it, this desert is is a problem, too. And we gotta be getting thirsty already right now. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink. Yep, we know we must gotta drink. We gotta drink. We'll be able to get water in time. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to drink here. Looks like they're being entertained. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Let's uh, take a look in the small tent here, because, well, obviously we can see people in the larger tent, so we don't want to go into there. Oh, there's a staff. I want that staff.
Taking care to be very quiet, Graham reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. We got a staff. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. All right. Okay, let's see if we can find the that oasis that we've been going to. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. Cuz now we can go back up to the um, the um, the cave there or the temple, and uh, we know how to get into it. So we just gotta make our way back to it. Aha, look at that, we found it. Get some more water. Ah, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Desert Quest is starting here. Okay. North we go. This should be the way back to the temple, I'm hoping. If not, well, we're just going to die out here. But hopefully, hopefully I got this map down right here. We'll find out, right? Soon enough. Okay, one more and we should be there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I don't want to die out here. Desert life is not for me. My name is not Sandy. Oh, good, we guessed right. All right, oh, there we go. Get some water again. Okay, and let's go into the temple here. All right, uh, use the magic staff here. Open sesame. Oh, oh. no, the staff broke. That's not good. Grab that. Quickly, Graham grabs. Yep, and we're grabbing a, a lamp and a coin. Bending down. Hurry, the exit door is about to close. Whew, that was close. All right. The staff is broken. All right, well, that's it for that. We broke the staff. But we got a magic lamp and a gold coin. So we're going to grab something more to drink here. And let's get out of the desert. All right, does that sound good? That sounds like a good idea, uh -huh. right? So let's get out of here. Let's just uh, hug the walls here. Uh, hopefully we can make it out of here just hugging the walls.
I mean, I don't, it shouldn't be too hot near the walls, right? Or maybe it is. Who knows? But anyways, if you're made it this far and you're enjoying this, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you comment and subscribe. Every little bit helps, guys. Every little bit helps. And also, I also stream on Twitch. I might be live right now when you're watching this. Who knows? You can find me at Bone13 on Twitch. Again, that's www.twitch.tv slash Bone13. Make sure you give me a follow over there. We do all kinds of stuff over there. The hut. And if you're enjoying this playthrough, check out the other ones too. We're doing all the King's Quest, all the Police Quest, all the Quest for Glories, all the Space Quest, Colonel's Bee Quest, the Conquest of Camelot, and many, many other Sierra games that I can find that I can play. I know they've been done multiple times by countless other people, and so I am glad that you're here and watching it with me, with, with us. Oh, we made it outside the desert. We're no longer in the desert. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. Are we? Are we? Ooh, uh, keep your eye on the gypsies, Graham. I don't trust them. Nothing wrong with the gypsies. The sullen man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort. Okay. Uh, we're going to give him the gold coin. We're going to try that. Well, he seems to like it. You may see Madame Mushka now. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. We're going to watch it. So, you are here to see Madame Mushka, no? Well, come closer. Sit down. I will tell you your fortune. Already I can tell that you are on a quest of great urgency. We are. We will see what we can find out for you. Look, Kingram. Look into the crystal ball. Look, Mananin. Look what I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Because of you, he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. But you can do something about it. Since you're the one that did this to him, you're the only one who can turn him back again. Back to the wizard Manannan. Alexander! I don't know how, Mordek. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across some magic spells and accidentally turned your brother into a cat. I didn't mean it. Please believe me, Mordek. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. You're holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat, starting with your dear mother. <laughs> Remember what I said. I'll only give you a little more time to decide before your family becomes cat food. That is all. But I see that your mission is very dangerous indeed. I will give you something to help you. Here, where is it? It is a magic amulet. It will protect you against all but the most powerful magic. Okay. Good luck, King Ram. Be careful. That Mordek is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mushka. Okay, well, we found out who did it. Mordak, the brother of Manananan, or Manny as we know him. Well, uh, let's uh, keep on going on our quest here. Madam Mushka is tired. No more for today. Okay. 
We didn't want to talk to her again anyways. Ooh. Oh, it's a we uh, definitely a weeping willow here. A graceful weeping willow tree grows beside a small pond created from her tears. In her branch-like arms, she clutches a beautiful harp as a child would a cherished toy. Hmm. Can we talk to you? Uh, Miss Willow? Yes? You can talk? Why, of course I can. What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. You see, oh. my fiancé and I were walking through this wood when a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When he naturally refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree. Then she stole my heart. Stole your heart? Yes. She turned my heart to gold and took it away with her. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, all I have to cheer me up is my harp. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Now please, leave me alone in my sorrow. Oh, that's a sad story right there. <coughs> What's wrong, Graham? That salt water! <laughs> well, they're tears, so yeah. Okay, uh, let's uh, wear this amulet here. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. He then carefully tucks the amulet into the front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. Okay. Enter at your own risk, huh? Okay, well... Can we go back? We can, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go here. All right, we're gonna enter here. Oh, no! Oh, I'm not going in there! Can't you read the signs? Well, we can Come read. on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. Oh, the witch! To Graham's great relief, it appears that the witch's magic has been stopped by the amulet he is wearing. Just as Madame Mushka said it would. What are you doing in my forest, young man? <laughs> Don't you know your trick? Passing. <laughs> Trespassing, huh? Oh, I didn't know this was a private forest. Do you own it? Of course I own it. <laughs> it's mine. And what did you do to my magic? Huh? I don't think you need to know. <laughs> now tell me something. How does one leave this confusing forest? I'll never tell. <laughs> I'm afraid you're stuck, dearie. <laughs> oh, no, we're now not. We're not. We're not stuck. You're my prisoner. We'll see about that. <laughs> yes, won't we? <laughs> okay, uh, we got this to give her. What's this? Oh, 
freedom at last! Now you spend the next 500 years in a bottle. Hmm? Well, we got rid of the witch. Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. But now, how to get out of this dreadful forest? Yes, now we gotta find out a way out. Ooh, nice house. has been crudely fashioned from an old tree trunk and salvaged stone. Being cold and creepy, Graham finds he would just as soon hurry up and leave. Tucked under a large crack in the wall, which seems to serve as a window, Graham sees an interesting wooden trunk. Okay. A small, intricate spinning wheel is put away in the trunk. Well, yeah, we're going to take that. Reaching a hand into the trunk, Graham retrieves the small spinning wheel. Okay, what else can we grab here? What's this? Why, it's a little key. Oh. A small leather pouch is tucked away in the drawer. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. Okay. Um, what is in the pouch? Upon opening the leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. Nice. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. All right, uh, I think that's it for everything out here. way at all should be able to right just gotta watch out for those venus fly traps there maybe okay we got another path here into the trunk of a large twisted tree catches Graham's attention. Graham tugs firmly on the door in the tree, but finds it securely locked. Okay, well, we got a key. Graham finds that the little key fits perfectly in this lock. Oh, Graham nice. is charmed to find a little golden heart inside the door Aha. of a twisted old tree. Let's take it. Reaching into the little door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. Okay. Let's get out of here. Again. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 
can we do that? Oh, we can walk behind it. Okay. All right, we're back here. Still gotta find a way out of here though. That's gonna be the hard part here. We gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. A large rock like creature blocks further passage to the west. Okay, well then, uh, yeah, that's probably where we wanna go here then, huh? All right, what do we have here? We have, uh, I do believe that's the honeycomb. Graham squeezes the honeycomb as hard as he can, which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, which Graham puts back in his pocket. Okay, uh, let's see if we can use this here. No, um... Oh, okay. Oh, we got little elves here. Oh. Haha, <laughs> we got him stuck. Please, let me go. I beg of you. Why should I do that? What will you do for me? I'll show you the way out of the forest. There we go. You let me go. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word. An elf never breaks his word. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. Move over, Rocky. You're in our way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Follow me in here. Oh, let's go into a tunnel. I don't know. Warning. This cartoon contains material. Right, we're going to watch it. Where'd the little elf go? How many people would be able to do this right now? Would claustrophobia get to get the best of you? Oh, we're in, in like a little elven village now? Hey! Over here! I've got something for you! Oh, he's gonna give me something. Nice. I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity in giving me those exquisite emeralds, I give you my finest pair of shoes. Nice. May they help you in your quest. Okay, we got a pair of shoes. Follow that passage over there. It's the way out of the dark forest. Thank you very much for all your help. I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for these fine shoes. See you later, LV. No, more climbing.
Oh, there we go. What's up, Cedric? Oh, I'm glad to see you're okay. I was beginning to worry. You were right not to want to venture in that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. But we did. All right. We got a heart. We got to go give it to the Weeping Willow here. All right. A heart. I wonder if we can get her a harp. That'd be kind of cool. My heart, you found it. I don't need this old thing anymore. Look at me, I'm a princess again. Herbert. Alicia. Herbert and Alicia. How nice. Where have you been all this time, my love? Oh, darling, just take me home. I'll tell you on the way. <laughs> and just like that. Yeah, they're back there normal. Okay, uh, let's see if we can pick up this harp. Now, why would she toss aside this beautiful harp? Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, the gypsies are gone. Uh, what is this? A tambourine lies on the ground near the abandoned gypsy encampment. Well, other people's trash is my treasure. Not seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. We rescue it from the ground. Huh? Okay, well, let's get out of here. There's our lovely ants again. Okay, let's go this way because we haven't gone this way yet. Ooh, is that a new dance, Graham? The Bugaloo? The Bugaloo. We, we had to do the dance. I mean, it's not often that you get to dance with ants, right? Oh, hello. How are you? Sitting on a stool in front of his house, a young gnome happily plays with an exquisite marionette. What do we got up here? Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I like it. I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very steep. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. All right, well, we got something that we can trade for him. Where did you get this? I thought I had lost it. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. So that's where it got to. The old hag took it, eh? Yep. You know, this ain't an ordinary spinning wheel. It's not? Well, what's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin straw into gold, that's what. Well, that would have been but nice to know. You've got to know who to use it. I doubt even the witch could figure that out. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Now wait, not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Yeah, I guess so. We're gonna trade a spinning Boy, wheel? Give that marionette to the man here. For a puppet. I'll make you a new one. Come on, boy. Let's gather up some wood for a new puppet. Okay, well, we got a puppet. I don't know if that was a fair exchange or not, but um, in the world of King Graham, it's fine. We, we don't need a gold spinning, um, spinning wheel, do we?
A large haystack dominates the area in front of the barn. Graham watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack and begins to swarm through it. Oh, the ants are helping. Are they? Yep. Why, thank you, King Antony. I'm honored. Good luck in your travels, King Graham. And be careful. Okay, well, we gotta go to the Needle. Alright, let's go. We're going to get the boot ready. Uh, this part took me a lots of attempts to do. Uh, we're trying to save a mouse from a cat. Suddenly... Frantic squeakings alert Graham to a mangy cat chasing a terrified rat. Ah, there we go. It's so nice to be able to talk to animals, isn't it? All right, that part's done. There we go. All right, let's go back into town here. We got some stuff that we can trade now. Back in the tailor shop. And that guy is still getting fitted. May I help you, sir? Yes, you can. You want this. That's what you want. My golden needle. Wherever did you find it? A needle in the haystack. It was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh, yes. I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh, vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Nice, we get a cloak. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. All right, well, let's get out of here. Okay, going to the toy maker now.
Okay, and who do you, what do you think the toy maker is going to want? Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Papa, where did you put those new doll clothes Mama made? Look in this trunk upstairs. I think I put them there. I'll do that. Okay, he, he's going to want the marionette. Grandpapa? Yeah, my darling? Can I keep this doll? I really like her. Now, Katrina, you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, you've got plenty of dolls. You can play mid her, but just be careful. All right, Grandpapa. I'll take care of her. Oh, did you get this wonderful marionette? The craftsmanship is excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled and trade. Oh, we're getting a sled, okay. Why, of course. But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality. Ich weiß nicht. So, can I have the sled? Yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours. Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and danke for the marionette. Okay, we have a sled now. All right. Okay, one last place to go to. We don't have any shoes to sell you right now. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore, and we're getting too old to keep trying. Is there anything I can do to help? There ain't nothing you can do, short of buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. Okay, thanks. Well, a shoemaker who doesn't have shoes obviously needs some shoes. What have we here? Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes are superb, and Mama, Look at the solid gold buckle. Well, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are a god, this young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. A hammer could be useful. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. <laughs> they just leave me in the store? All right. Okay, now time for the end. Okay. 
Come on, Cedric, let's go. Hey, the end. And walk in the end. Ooh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Diana's bull ain't got no war rooms. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Uh oh. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. That's the mouse that we saved. Unfortunately, found himself locked in the country inn's dusty, dirty cellar. Uh, can we take the rope? Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. Okay. Graham has unfortunately found it. Graham has. Alright. A rusty padlock securing the door prevents Graham from leaving the cellar. Uh, we got, we got ways to get out of here. We got a hammer. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. All right, well, let's get out of here. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Well, we're going to take it. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of lamb. Okay, let's get out of here. Finding the kitchen door locked, Graham unlocks it before going outside. All right, we're out. Well, that didn't seem to bother us any. All right, well, let's go. All right, let's keep on going in the forest here. This should put us back to pretty much where we started from, too. Oh, a bird. What a wonderful bluebird. It could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't for his family. Yeah. All right. I'll walk in. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's the snake. Yeah, we're right back to where we were. All right, what do we have here that can snare away a snake? I think this can. Be gone, you slithery varmint. Scat! <laughs> Well, it seemed to work. So using a tambourine uh, will always chase away a snake. 
uh, from that you learned in this game. Okay. Woo. A few hours later, Graham begins to shiver at the sudden drop in temperature. All right, well, we have something to keep us warm. Graham dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. You know, in the older Sierra games, we'd have to walk this ourselves, and we would easily fall off a million times. Hmm. Grabbing that branch, you will instantly die. What else can we grab onto? Graham notices his stomach beginning to rumble with hunger. Yep. from the exertion of the mountain climb. That's fine. We're getting hungry. We got some lamb, though. There we go. Now let's climb up the rock. Oh, be careful, Graham! Okay. All right, let's eat the leg of lamb here. Graham finds the leg of lamb a bit tough, but tasty enough. Filling up quickly, he saves the other half for later. Okay. Jumping across the rocks Ooh, here. Oh, do be careful, Graham. Oh, we're going to be careful. We are going to be really careful here. Okay, we made it across. There we go. We made it across. Let's keep on going. No, oh no! no the wolf has got Cedric. Cedric. Oh no. All right, uh, yep, we're gonna slide down the hill too. Let's go, let's go. crash well drat my sled is broken wasn't our graceful landing but uh we're fine oh an eagle uh let's talk to the eagle What's wrong, Mr. Uh, Eagle? I'm so weak from hunger. I haven't been able to catch any food for days. I can barely fly anymore. I'd like to help you. Let me see what I can do. 
Thank you. I need food. Well, we have food. We definitely have food. We have some lamb here. Here, take this. Perhaps it will help you. You are a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird, especially up here in these snowy mountains. Well, I couldn't just stand there and let you starve to death. What kind of person would I be? You have shown yourself to be a kind, compassionate man, and I will not forget what you did for me. Well, we are a good king. Goodbye, dear friend. All right, well, we saved an eagle. Let's go. Oh no, the wolves. The wolves are escorting us in. Not a good time. I am Queen Isabella, and you have entered my domain now. I command you to kneel before me. Since both you and your friend over there have so thoughtlessly invaded my territory without my permission or knowledge, I have decided you shall both be put to death. Take him away, my pet. Warning, this cart. There we Wait, go. Wait, my pet. That was very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite that beautiful before. I think I felt my heart melting. Just a little bit. <laughs> just enough, that is. To allow you a chance for your freedom. A vicious Jenny has entered the area and taken up residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I have been unable to extricate him from either the cave or my territory. If you can rid me of the Yeti, I will release both you and your owl friend and you too can continue on your journey unhindered. Okay. You may rise now. I wish you luck in defeating the Yeti. If you succeed, you will have my undying gratitude. Go with him, Sir Grey Wolf. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. You may go now. Sir Grey Wolf will lead the way. All right, well, let's go take care of a Yeti here. Wonder if it's the same Yeti from the other game. Guess we'll soon find out, right? I mean, how many Yetis are there, right? And have you ever met a Yeti? Let me know in the comments down below. Yonder's the crystal cave. There you will find the yeti. Okay. On our way to meet Mr. Yeti here. Okay, we got a pie. Let's throw it at him. <laughs> All right, well, that was easy enough. All right, uh, I want some of this crystal. Can we walk in the cave? Maybe we can walk in the cave. Nice, look at all this stuff. There we go. It's a nice cave in here. So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer. 
until it breaks loose in one piece. He then carefully places it among his other possessions. Okay, well, let's go. Alright. Onward! Got to talk to the wolf here. I see that the Yeti is dead. Queen Nicebella will be pleased. Come, follow me. All right, well, follow we go. Warning, this cartoon contains material that may be necessary. Be kind of nice to have, uh, you know, wolves as your minions, right? Ah, oh, good. You have returned in victory, I presume. Yes, yes, your majesty. The Yeti is dead. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are my friend and I free to go now? Yes, I keep my promises. I want to thank you for ridding my mountain domain of the horrible Yeti. Please rise, King Graham. Yes, I know who you are, and mm -hmm. I have been informed of your quest. I do wish you luck against the wizard Mordak. You too may go. We wish you well on your difficult journey. Sir Greywolf will show you the way out of the mountains. All right. Let's go, Cedric. So I love this game. This game is awesome. Okay, well. Hmm. Don't know where we're going here. Oh, yep, we're climbing, we're climbing. Graham, watch out! Oh, what the heck is that? Graham rescues a lovely golden locket from the leafy clutches of the rock's nest. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, nice birdie. Good birdie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gucci, Gucci, goo. Hang on. I'll get you out of this. Woohoo! The eagle saves us. Where are we at now? Hmm. Okay, 
we see a boat and a bar. Oh, Graham, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. You'd never believe it, Cedric. You'd never believe it. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't believe it. Okay. Uh, let's take a walk up toward the boat here, I guess. Maybe we can sail a little bit? I don't know. Look, Graham, there's a boat here. Maybe we can use it. Hmm. An old cast-off sailboat sits forlornly on the narrow sandy beach. All right. Uh, we got to fix some holes here, though. Firmly, Graham wedges the softened piece of beeswax into the small hole in the boat's hull. Hopefully, the wax will hold and make her seaworthy. All right, well, let's go. Come on, Cedric. Come on, Cedric. Get in the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Yep. We're no longer King Graham. We're Captain Graham. Hopefully this bolt will last us, we don't know. Don't know where we're going here. Cedric? Poor Cedric. Having been seriously wounded by the vicious harpies, he now lies moaning and in pain upon the sandy path. 
Well, let's take it. Graham, <laughs> help me. We're coming, Cedric. We're coming. We're coming for you. Cedric, where do you herd? Ooh, everywhere. <coughs> All right, well, let's get out of here. We don't like this island. Okay. Graham notices a large conch shell lying delicately upon the sand. Well, we're going to take it. up the beautifully colored shell. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there's no reason to ever come back here. Nice island, though. Gotta last a little bit longer here. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island, but I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey, what's that you say? Oh, okay, he's hard of hearing. Uh... Uh, I think we gotta give him something here. Uh, maybe the shell. Please help me. I need your help. I can't hear you. Can't understand a thing you said. Gotta speak up, boy. Now get out of here. What's this? Now what were you wanting? My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded by the harpies. Wounded by the harpies, did you say? We'll bring him on into the house. I'll fix him right up. Good nice as house, new. Though. And of course we run somebody run into somebody who knows how to take care of an owl. Lay him on the bed there. These poultices should fix the little fella up. Good as new. feeling better already. Tell me, what was in those poultices? My employer would be very interested in them. Hey, what was that? I said, what was in those poultices? My employer would be interested in them. Gifts from the sea, lad. Gifts from the sea. Ain't nothing special. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think he'd find them particularly interesting. 
Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it's too late. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordak. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. I tried to talk you out of going there, except I can see you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. Okay. Where are we going now? Oh, a mermaid. Pearl, this man needs your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordax Island. It's a real emergency. Mordax holding his family hostage. Pearl can't speak human talk, but she's agreed to help you. Just get on into your boat and follow her. Cedric and I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Uh... Don't worry about who I am. You just get on over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. We're off. Come on, Cedric. All right, let's go. Follow the mermaid. Ah, that's definitely his island, yeah. goes away. Well, the mermaid got us here. Are you all right, Cedric? Well, let me see. Oh, I'm fine, Graham. Just a bit ruffled is all. All right, uh, we see a, a dead fish lies. We're gonna take the fish. Ugh, a dead fish. Well, maybe I can use it. I mean, we used a fish already, why not, right? All right, what do we have here? Um, what is this? The brilliant crystal shard feels smooth in Graham's hands. Well, that's right, we have that. Um. It on myself? Alright. Um, alright, let's walk up the stairs here. I mean, what could go wrong? You coming, Cedric, or no? Oh, I don't like this place. It's creepy. It is definitely creepy. Okay, got past them. All right. Can we open up the gate here? Can we go this way? Yep, we can. All right. No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. All right. Through the back door, it looks like here. See? Get in! Let's go back now. No, I'll figure this out. Alright, well, let's go. Crazy to go down into that dark hole. You don't know what's down there. 
Well, do you have any better ideas? No, uh, mind if I wait for you here? No, that's a good idea, Cedric. You be the lookout out here. But uh, yes, I'll be the lookout. Ooh, be careful, Graham. Okay, well, in a labyrinth. Not many good maps for this one right here. Oh, we found a beast. Um, Hairpin lying on the stone floor of the labyrinth. Take the hairpin here. Graham reaches down and grabs the hairpin off the labyrinth floor. All right, let's go. that was but okay I need to find a door and we're getting all mixed up in here I knew where I was. Oh, there's a door. All right, so we got to the right spot. All right, um, Think we can use this to pick the lock, maybe? Graham would look silly wearing that hairpin. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to use it on the door. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers, to his amazement, that it fits perfectly. Turning it ever so gently, he soon hears a soft click, and the door is unlocked. Okay, well, let's get out of here, then. Get out of this labyrinth. All right, where are we at now? Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. Okay. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. All right, let's uh, get out of here. Oh, 
There's somebody here. Don't come near me. Leave me alone. I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. I'm not. Believe me. Just go away. Please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, what do we got? Uh, how about this? Uh, is this... The amulet glows so... It is a lovely golden locket. There we go. That's what we want. Warning. This cartoon contains material. Don't Watch it. Wherever did you find my gold locket? I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. But tell me, who are you and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Kasima from the Kingdom of the Green Isles. My father, the king, employs a horrible wazir who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Naturally, I refused, and my father agreed with me. But our refusal angered him so much that he stoned me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go, that a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Uh, don't marry don't him. Don't worry. I'm here to save my family from the evil wizard. He's got them here someplace imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then of course I wouldn't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. Uh, I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not survive it. I would never give you away. And I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. Well, awesome. All right. By the way, who are you? I'm King Graham of Daventry. I think I know where that is. It's very far from my home, though. Don't worry. Somehow, I'll get you home again. But first, I've got to save my family. Yes, well... I'll stand by you, King Graham. I'll help if I can. Thanks. I may need it. Well, I'd better get back to work. And you should keep out of sight. Aye, aye, my lady. Okay, let's go then. Nice room. A hideous yet fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. I don't like the fact that he's watching us. Massive dining table has been placed before a large, ornate fireplace. This is kind of nice. Mm. Can't seem to do anything here. Can we go down? No idea what this thing is. And where did that door show up? Hmm. All 
right, well, we're in a... Oh, there's a mouse. Graham finds himself in a dirty, dingy cell somewhere below Mordak's castle. Graham can see a small, moldy piece of cheese just inside the mouse hole. Well, let's get that piece of cheese then, shall we? There, got it. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. Water dripping down strands of slimy vegetation hanging from the ceiling forms a small pool on the cell's cold stone floor. Hmm? What's going on? Hello. Uh, hello. What? Oh, Princess Cosima, where did you come from? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Friends? Friends? Yes, like Dink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this loose stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go. All right, let's see if we can do this without getting lost. Good thing she knows where she's going. We obviously have no idea where we're going. Why does it seem like we're just walking back and forth? Thank you very much. While Princess Cosima busily scrubs the kitchen floor, Graham tries to figure out what to do next. Okay. Let's do it again. stunned on the floor. Okay, now we can go this way. Now I want that cat. There we go. 
fish. And bag. Okay, we're gonna catch the fish or catch the cat. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, do we take it? The cat struggles in vain inside the bag. Do we take it? It wouldn't be wise for Graham to carry the cat around. All right, then we won't carry the cat. Okay. Let's go up the stairs here. Such a creepy looking place here. Hmm. Looks like a bedroom of some sort. A large grotesque bed occupies one corner of Mordak's bedroom. Graham surveys the bizarre furnishings and horrible figures in Mordak's bedroom. Yep, let's get out of here. I don't think we need to be in the bedroom, do we? We're not tired. open upon a corner desk attracts Graham's curiosity. Hmm, this looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. The strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory, and there is no need to look at them again. Perhaps they'll be of use later. Numerous books of various scholarly subjects lie scattered atop a nearby table. Numerous book, many books and scrolls. Since most of Mordak's books and scrolls are beyond Graham's comprehension, he wisely decides to ignore them. Since most okay, well, many book filled shelves. Graham can see into Mordak's bedroom through the open doorway. Mordak's wand lies temptingly upon the small table near his bed. Well, yeah, we're gonna grab the wand, of course, hello. Okay, let's get out of here now. Don't know how long Mordak's gonna be asleep for, so. Don't know how much of a rush we're in or not of a rush. Hmm. Graham has found himself in a large room filled with many unusual contraptions and magical implements. His heart feels like bursting when he notices his beloved family imprisoned within a large glass bottle sitting upon a corner table. Is that them? 
Tears come to Graham's eyes as he sees his beloved family and castle held captive inside a large glass bottle. Okay, well, um, let's go up. I mean, we don't have anything that we can use that we know of, right? To save them yet. We don't even know how they're really imprisoned. What is this thing over here? An odd machine of tubes, gears, weights, and tiny figures surrounding an unusual sphere-like object attracts Graham's curiosity. Okay. Hmm. Graham has no idea what Mordek does with this strange contraption, but it couldn't be good. Inside the lower portion, a foul-smelling liquid bubbles, while two dangling spiked gizmos hang on a massive yoke above a couple of flat iron platters. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, put some wands here. Um, let's... Mordek's wand glows brightly with restrained power. The old wand doesn't seem to have any vitality left. Okay, we're going to take this one here. Maybe we can charge up the wand. See if it work alright. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's just put this one up there too. No, nope, that one goes on the other side. Okay. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, now we got both wands up there. We're gonna, let's, uh, I don't know, throw some cheese up there. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Okay, well, it's uh. Mordak's wand now barely glows. Perhaps its power has weakened while Crispin's old wand now appears completely energized. Nice. Let's take that one. What's going on here? I'll take care of you, you swine. Graham, okay. I've heard from Crispin. Oh no. What the? What have you done to my wand? You think you can outwit me, little man? Ha! Let me show you a thing or two. Oh. Okay. Tiger. Okay. Why, you little... Come on, ground, go! Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me! Ha-ha! <laughs> Too fast you for think you? you're so smart, don't you? 
Well, I've got you now. Poor snake. All right. Say goodbye, swine. Turn ourselves into a mongoose. He's no match for us now. So, is this the way you want to play? Yes, it is. Oh, he's a ring of fire now. Well, let's bring a little rain. Not bad, not bad at all. Warning, this cartoon contains yep, material yep. that may be necessary for information. We're gonna watch it. Now why won't you work? Cassandra? Oh, Princess Cosima. Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But now I have a bigger problem. I don't know what to do about my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, there must be a way. Crispin! I have the solution to all your problems, Graham. Alright, tell me. Tell me. While you and Cedric were gone, I did some asking around, and I found out that your son, Alexander, had the dubious distinction, if you may, of turning Mordak's brother, Mananan, into a cat some time back. Yep. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be undone by the actual perpetrator, your son. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge to try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. I did some research and found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Now watch! Hocus, Hocus, Aliotis! Woohoo! The family's all back. Valonie, my children, my joy knows no limits. Oh, Father, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. Let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Queen Valenis, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. <laughs> All of you, this is Princess Cosima from the land of the Green Isle. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. My lady, I am deeply in your debt, and I will make it up to you. With your permission, I'd like to travel to the land of the Green Isles to see you. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Now that we've done with all the formalities, let's get on with business, shall we? 
Higgledy, Higgledy, Pooh. Higgledy Piggledy? Okay. Be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs, and the right size, too. But now it's time that everyone return to their homes, with my help, of course. Alakazam, Alakazoo, Alakazoo. Wait, what about Cedric? Where is Cedric? He's on the floor. Over there. there. Mordak may have killed him. Is there anything you can do about it? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes. I think I know. Abra? Abracabara? No. Uh, Abracadora? <laughs> now, what is that confounded word? Oh, yes. Abra. Cadabra! Cedric! Oh, Christian! Cedric, it sure is good to see you again. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. All right, enough is enough. Let's get on with it. Okay, Cosima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isle? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Goodbye, Alexander. Perhaps we'll meet again. You can be sure of that, milady. Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. And you too, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here with my family without you two. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work, right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, back home you go. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazee. Okay. The castle is back. The family is back. Well, there she is. Our happy home. And we're all safe and sound once more. Let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. The end. 260 out of 260. There we go. Perfect score. Perfect walkthrough. Perfect playthrough. All righty. Thank you, everyone, who stayed and watched. Make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to comment and subscribe and do all that other fun stuff as we uh, go through the credits here. And don't forget, I also stream on Twitch. I might be streaming right now. Uh, just look at Bone13 on Twitch. Uh, make sure to give a follow and also hit that bell over there. That way you get notified when I do uh, uh, stuff over there. But yes, um... King's Quest V is now officially wrapped in the books as we move on to the King's Quest VI. I had many, many, many other Sierra classics, just like the whole Police Quest series, the Space Quest series, the Quest for Glory series, the Colonel's Bequest series, or the, um, the Bequest series, I guess you would say. I mean, because you had the Colonel's Bequest and the Dag of Ammonia Ra. Uh, we'll do Colonel, uh, the Conquest of Camelot, uh, and many, many, many other great Sierra classics. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification as we keep on doing all many, many other great retro games here on this channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot of them, guys. There's going to be a lot of them. And if you have any recommendations for what you want me to do, please don't uh, hesitate. Leave comments into, uh, uh, leave a comment. There we go. Leave a comment. Um, and I'll make sure I get them. And uh, yes, because I'm sure there's lots of LucasArts games. I'm sure I'm, there's lots of Activision games. There's all types of old games that you guys want to reminisce and go back down the nostalgia path and watch uh, them done again. But yes, and don't forget, we're also doing the new King's Quest 2 chapter by chapter. Um, so that one um, kind of ties in in between all the in-between stories. Uh, like we already know about, um, um, you know, Mordak, we know about Mananan or Manny, um, 
we know about Alexander, you know, and what he went through. Um, we know about how we met our wife and all that. It, uh, it's great. It's a great little tie-in story. And maybe, maybe one day they'll add uh, the next King's Quest out. Uh, that would be really awesome. I know Roberta Williams has uh, mentioned it before, but nothing has have happened yet. Um, I know there's a bunch of fan ones made and all that, but uh, yeah, we, no, we need, we need another King's Quest. So again, guys, thank you very much. And um, this is Bone saying, hey, you got to stay safe out there, guys. Stay safe out there. That world is crazy. It's not like Daventry. It is worse. So anyways, guys, take care and see you all later. Do you really want to quit 